Hello everybody and welcome back to Indie Bazaar where each week we take a look at the strange and wonderful world of indie gaming and today we have a game simply called Hell or Hell OS. I'm not entirely sure which is the proper title of the game but I think it's just this one. Anyway, um, this is, let me, let me put in our name, my name here. This is a uh, old school style graphical point and click adventure game. Um, I'm not going to read all the text to you because I don't want to bore you. And uh, there's only music in some parts of the game. From what I've seen so far, this earlier play, this earlier part here does not have any. So uh, you find yourself in a long hallway lined with windows. You don't remember where you are or how you got here. So. Um, my understanding is that this was made for a game jam competition and was developed by a person named A Hint of a Lime. And the premise of the of the competition was that uh, you were you were given a picture that was presented as being the cartridge art of a Super Nintendo game or a, or a Genesis game. I forget which which kind they used, but um. This one was just that monochrome logo that we saw at the beginning with the, the Japanese text. And that this person, I guess, decided that a sort of a, a, a Macintosh style monochrome adventure game was the route they wanted to take. And it's really interesting for for a couple of reasons, and we'll see more as we get on. Um, you can often just hit the next button, but you can also click around. Yeah, here we go. Move closer to the windows to get a better look. The glass is cold to the touch. You put your face up against the window to peek outside, but you can't see anything, just a dull whiteness. Interesting. So the reason I wanted to cover this was, um, it's really good at building a mood. Um, much more so than a lot of games that I have played that have much higher production values than one person and their computer. So right off the bat like serious kudos to that oh, there's a balloon up here i didn't notice that before pop the balloon sure <laughs> that was fun let's hope nobody heard that um we can just head up ahead uh, all turns to the left ahead you cannot see around the corner the light seems to get brighter as you approach the corner yeah we'll we'll proceed all right so we find ourselves in this indoor cactus garden here. And I guess we'll see what awaits us ahead. I haven't played too much farther than this. I, I just wanted to vet it to make sure that it worked, and it, it does. Um, it, I, I don't actually know where this is going in terms of direction. I, uh, I get up to a, a little bit ahead of this, and then I stopped... Because I didn't want to spoil it for myself, so... I don't know if this is a game with lots of spooky scaries, if there's some puzzles... I don't quite know what we're up, what we're in for up here, but... Like, I mean, again, look at this... This cactus garden here. You see, we're no plant expert, but some of these look extremely exotic, and... Well... I don't know about these over here, but over here you got, like, this weird fan-shaped leaf, and... This nonsense and you know I get it the ceiling is high and lined with windows you can see a little further on the roof ends and opens up to the sky that I didn't actually pick up on so it's good that the text descriptions um, are there to, to kind of help you figure out I don't think there's anything else we can click on here so let's just go further and here we got a little bit of animation here with this uh, weird hand chameleon buddy um, let me poke around here. There are hundreds of plant varieties here, all growing out of control and all over each other. Alright, so we're in some kind of abandoned greenhouse, I guess. Um, I mean, you can see over here, there's, we got this player info thing, and it says that we're dead and have zero HP. So I assume this is some kind of afterworld, even if it's not necessarily the titular Hell OS. But, um... I really like this little, this little buddy here. To make his eye follow you. Not yet. 
Um, you can also poke him. And if you hit yes to this, it bites you. So I'm going to see what it does if we hit no. The freaky critter. Alright, well I guess we will proceed ahead. And this is the last screen. Oh wait, no, it's not. Never mind, sorry. You find yourself in a beautiful garden. At the center of the garden is a large creature. You've never seen anything like it before, but for some reason you are not afraid. Let's poke the kitty. I love that noise. Okay, so he's asking us if we're lost. I'm not going to try to voice act this thing. Probably speaks with the thunder of a legion or something like that, you know. Take the elevator upstairs. Alrighty. And then it vanishes. An enormous pedestal sits in the center of the garden where the creature once sat. There is a powdery residue and it smells of sulfur. Weird. Confirming that the garden is indeed overgrown. Anyway, let's uh, head over to the elevator. Hmm. So we are now in more of a... Hello. Perfectly good pair of sunglasses. Look at that. Quite cool sunglasses. Hotel key card. Huh. That's interesting. I don't know why it said hotel key fired here when we looked at the sunglasses. Anyway, let's, uh, yeah, it's an elevator in the forest. More like a hell elevator, am I right? Let's head on up. You press the button and you hear the heavy mechanical noise of the elevator begin. Get some jazz. Some easy listening music. Floor indicator is flipping between different symbols we do not recognize. Oh, another ele elevator is opened. And it's just like this mesh inside. Like, I don't know. I think this is really cool. It's interesting to me how abstract the art kind of is. But it still definitely gives the impression. Like, here you can see the foliage. It's, even though that it's not, like actual drawings of leaves it gives the idea of leaves i don't know i guess it's a little bit pretentious but that is kind of the vibe that i get anyway uh the last thing i did before exiting was stepping into this elevator so let's see what's up here yeah left hand side of the elevator there is a band playing they are comprised of shadowy human shaped figures you can't make out your faces and they don't seem to notice you Interesting. Maybe we should try to put the sunglasses on so they think that we're a cool cat. No? Why does it say hotel keycard? That's weird. Um, anyway. Got the elevator here. With nice dithering. Is that the term for that? Um. I think that's what that's called. Anyway. Shadowy drummer. She plays the, the panio. Yeah. They should go through and fix that. Yeah. Unless a panio is actually like a kind of piano. I mean, that could very well be. I don't know. Um, I guess we'll head upstairs and we'll follow the advice of the shadowy beast. Because when has a shadowy beast lied to anybody ever? I do believe that we have arrived at our destination. Let's step out into the bright. Huh. A snowy courtyard. Some sort of factory, but it's not currently in production. So I guess there's like no smoke coming out of the stack is what they mean there. About six inches of snow on the ground. Interesting. How long have I been recording this for? I have completely lost track of time. Only about 10 minutes. Okay, good. 
I don't want to play through the entire game here, but I might just because I'm not sure how long it is. Either way, I'm going to tell you right now, um, because as a precaution, because again, I don't know quite how long this is. If you like this, uh, this is another one from Michio that is way what you want. Um, I would encourage you to go pick it up, and give it a give it a spin yourself, like immediately. It's a really cool little game. And again, as far as I'm aware, it was made by one person. The Ichio page did mention that they, um, they sourced a lot of the audio from somewhere else, but it wasn't composed for the game, if that makes sense. At least that's my understanding of things. My apologies if that's wrong. But, uh, I really like this. Um, a comparison I would make is that it looks a little bit like World of Horror, which is another game I've played on the channel, although not on Indie Bazaar. There's a metal door at the end of the courtyard. Yeah, sure, let's go. Ooh. Creepy. The music just stops. I love it. Um, got these weird, like, I don't know, they kind of look like cotton spinners to me. Or, uh, thread spinners, rather, like they used to have in the 1800s. They'd have somebody sit at the thing and I don't really quite know how they worked but there was like a pedal you would press and it would spin up the cloth there's a lever over here anyway like I was saying a comparison I would make at least visually is World of Horror which also uses this kind of two color um, black and white at least by default although in World of Horror you can change the colors but uh, it's black and white like super dotty art style I, I really like this stuff, and um, I would just like to see more games look like this. I mean, honestly, like, look at these weird, like, barbell-shaped things going back here. They take some kind of pipes. I almost do wonder if the art was done, and either either way, like, whoever did the visuals for this clearly um, has quite a bit of talent, but I do wonder if some of the art at least was done by taking photos and then, like, uh either running them through some kind of filter or just like dotting over them or if it is all drawn for for lack of a better term either way though like i said whoever had whoever did this clearly had quite a bit of vision if nothing else um and i mean hell even if they did just take pictures and you gotta like find the pictures i'm just trying to go out of my way here to not <laughs> insult the person who did the art because I really do love how this game looks. Let's let's flick this lever. There's a big switch on the machine here. Flip it. What could go wrong? Ooh, something approaches. An egg? What in the world is this? Hi? It's like some kind of malformed dog amoeba which also has a skull on it that was huh Interesting. That was really cool. Let's climb the ladder. You are in a quiet attic room. You no longer hear the sounds of the factory. There is an open window and a chest of drawers here. Let's rifle through this. Oh, I guess we can't. Um, I guess we can go out the window? Climb through the window. Again, what could possibly go wrong? You are in a recreation area. You heard the sounds of people playing and shouting, but cannot see anyone. Oh. Hi there. Give them to me, you scoundrel. Pig monster. He snatches the sunglasses from you. What? 
Interesting. Um, so I wonder if that's like how you fend off the, the terrible creatures of this game is you have to find an item and you give it to them when they when they yell at you. I don't quite know what to say to that. That was quite an unexpected tonal shift there with the him stealing the glasses from our inventory, although I guess they were his to begin with. Why am I calling it a he? Pig monsters don't have a... Maybe they do. Whatever. Let's touch the painting. Ah, two clowns standing behind a bar. When has this ever been a bad situation? The wood burns, giving off a comforting warmth. How long have I been doing this for? I keep losing tra track of time, because this is just so strange. Um, tell you what, uh, in the interest of not, not spoiling the whole game, I, I'm, I'm torn here because I don't want to give away the entire game, but I also really just want to keep, like, pressing on, seeing what's going to happen here. I guess what I could do, I'm going to cut the video here, and uh, I will upload the rest of this as a second video uh, the day after this episode goes up. We'll call it uh, like an Indie Bazaar special or something. Or maybe we'll make a habit out of devoting multiple episodes to the same game. I don't know. Um... I'm kind of doing this on the fly just because I want to see what weird nonsense, in a good way, nonsense in a good way, this game has to throw at me. I would like to reiterate again, if you like this game, like what you've seen so far, go get this. Like, seriously, things like this, in my opinion, you need to show support for just strange... This is what, this is what I mean when I say that we cover the strange... And wonderful on this show this is both of those things so um again i will see you tomorrow for a special follow-up episode of this and i will see you next week for another episode of indie bazaar make sure to like the video if you like the video and subscribe if you want to see a new indie bazaar game episode covering a game every wednesday in your inbox on youtube See you next time. Goodbye.